We start with this breaking news. There's been a shooting at a border crossing between the occupied West Bank and Jordan. Medical sources say at least three people were killed and that they were Israeli nationals. Israeli media say the attacker was also killed. This is a rapidly developing story. Let's get more from Al Jazeera's Nida Ibrahim. Uh, Nida, you're in Nablus right now in the occupied West Bank. So give us the basics as you know them. What happened, where did it happen, and who's involved? Well, well, the latest we got is from the Israeli army. They say that the perpetrator managed to get inside uh, the crossing from Jordan. He had a gun. He shot towards a number of people, according to the Israeli army, who were providing security and trying to make the crossing secure. Now. This is a highly militarized area, considered really filled. Every bit of it is censored, cameras, security, checkpoints, you name it. So it's considered a very big security breach, an incident that rarely happens inside there. And according to the Israeli forces, they say that they killed the perpetrator who managed to get in from the Jordanian side via the cargo terminal. He was in a truck. He went down and he shot those three men dead and left others injured. This crossing, called Al Karama Bridge for Palestinians, is their only entry and exit from uh, the occupied West Bank to Jordan. Remember, Palestinians do not have an airport, and the only way they can travel abroad is via this crossing in Jordan. After the attack happened, the Israeli forces have closed the bridge down, leading many people to mostly Palestinians to be stuck inside the bridge itself, uh, not being able to travel back and forth. We also know that the Israeli forces are now erecting checkpoints all around Jericho, which is very close, the closest town where Palestinians travel from there to, the, uh, uh, to Jordan. Again, three checkpoints against, uh, that face Palestinians when they are trying to travel, the Palestinian one, and then the Israeli one, and then the Jordanian one highly militarized. This is still a developing story, as uh, you said there, Cyril. But again, we have to emphasize that this is a high security breach that uh, really will, will have a lot of ramifications. Nida, I don't know if you have an answer to this yet, but the three uh, Israelis who were killed, one assumes, given the area where this happened, that they would be security officers or soldiers. Do you know? Well, it's hard to tell if they are security officers or not. The wording in the Israeli army statement is that they are securing it. But we know for a fact that there are uh, customs officers over there. There are other workers inside the uh, crossing itself. So it's hard to determine what they were doing uh, there and who was targeted indeed. But it's safe to assume that maybe some of them were working in the security uh, to secure the border. Again, a developing story will get you uh, mm. the latest as soon as we get it. And Nida, just before I let you go, correct me if I'm wrong, but security incidents, shootings at this particular area, right between the occupied this border crossing between the occupied West Bank and Jordan are exceedingly rare aren't they Yes, like from the top of my head, I can tell you that the last time such an incident happened was years and years ago. And it was from a Palestinian Jordanian who uh, was shooting towards people inside the crossing. He was shot dead at the time. The border was closed. Uh, similar incidents. But uh, today, it happens at a time where Israel is already facing a lot of uh, attention here in the occupied West Bank and also in the northern front when we talk about uh, Lebanon, in addition to Gaza, having this yet another shooting in a very critical security area is not going to be taken easily. We remember in the beginning of the war, the Israeli bridge itself, the crossing has been closed off for a couple of days, leading many Palestinians from the occupied West Bank stuck either here or in Jordan, not being able to move. So we don't know how it's going to play out when it comes to the travelers there. Is uh, Are they going to increase the security beyond uh, that it is right now? You know, when Palestinians go through these electronic gates, they checkpoints, they get checked, they, get, they have to take off their clothes, they have to go through these electronic gates. So we're talking about an already highly militarized and secured area, and this incident might get it even to get more and more. Okay, Nida, thank you very much for your reporting on this rapidly developing story. You will keep us apprised of developments as and when you get them. Thank you, Nida. Let's bring in Lieutenant